Jess. And I'm Chacha Femia. And we're the... <laughs> Today we're gonna talk about percentile of group data. So first, let's define what is percentile. Percentiles are measure of relative standing of an observation within a data. Percentiles divide a set of data observations into 100 equal parts. So here we can see the given. 50 Filipinos participated in the one-day 20-kilometer fun run of 30-day exercise challenge of UAE. The data below shows how old the participant is. What is range? Range is the area of variation between upper and lower limits on a particular scale. The formula for a range is highest value minus lowest value, which is 45 minus 10, and it will be equal to 35. Next is the class size. Class size is the one who determines how many rows are we gonna have. The formula for the class size is highest value over the divisible number to the highest value, which we have 45 over 5, which is equals to 9. And next we have the class interval. Class interval is the size of each class into which a range of a variable is divided. So the formula for class interval is highest value divided by class size, which is 45 divided by 9, and is equal to 3.88, and draw it off to the nearest whole number, which is 4. So here is the summary of everything that we've solved earlier. Lowest value is equal to 10, highest value is equal to 45, data is equal to 50, range is equal to 35, class size is equal to 9, class interval is equal to 4. Now we have the table for the yeah. For the class interval, since we have our class interval as 4 and we have our lowest value as 10, we have 10, 11, 12, 13. And that's how we get a class interval. That's why we have 10 to 13, 14 to 17, 18 to 21, 22 to 25, 26 to 29, 30 to 33, 34 to 37, 38 to 40, and 42 to 45. Next, we have the class boundary. So the formula for the class boundary is the lowest value of the class interval minus 0 0.5 9.5, 13 .5, 17 .5, 21.5, 25.5, 25.5, 29.5, 33.5, 37.5, and 41.5. Next, we have the frequency. The frequency determines how many times the date occurred. So, for 10 to 13, the date occurred for 4 times. And then, for 14 to 17, the date occurred for 2 times. For 18 to 21, the date occurred for four times. And then for 22 to 25, the date occurred for five times. For 26 to 29, the date occurred for seven times. For 30 to 33, it occurred for six times. For 34 to 37, it occurred for eight times. For 38 to 41, it occurred for 11 times. And then for 42 to 45, it occurred for three times. Now for the cumulative frequency. The formula is just copy the lowest row frequency, then add to the upper frequency. So 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 7 is 22, 22 plus 6 is 28, 28 plus 8 is 36, 36 plus 11 is 47, and 47 plus 3 is 50. Here we can see the complete table from class interval, class boundary, frequency, and cumulative frequency. Okay, so now for the examples. So we're searching for P15. The formula for percentile is PM is equal to MN divided by 100, which is 15 times 50 divided by 100, and this equals to 7 point. Now let's solve for the final formula, which is Lower boundary plus MN divided by 100 minus cumulative frequency below divided by frequency 
times interval which is 17.5 plus quantity 7.5 minus 6 divided by 4 times 4 and is equal to 19. So now let's solve for the P25. We have 25 times 50 over 100 is equals to 12.5. So now let's solve for the second formula for P25, which we have 21.5 plus 12.5 minus 10 over 5 times 4, which we have 23.5. So how did we get the value inside our quantity? So first, let's go back to the final answer of our first formula, which we have 12.5. And now let's go to our table. In the cumulative frequency column, um, let's find for the number that is equals to or higher than 12.5, which in our case we have 15. So since 15 is in the fourth row coming from the bottom, we are gonna use the fourth row to fill up what's inside our quantity that's why we have 12.5 as the mn over 100 and then 10 as the cumulative frequency below and then 5 for the frequency and 4 for the interval and then that's how we solve for the second formula one, two, three, go. That's all for our tutorial. Thank you for watching. God bless. Mwah. Give it a thumbs up. Like and comment down below. And, and subscribe, subscribe for more. Yeah. Now let's solve for the fee. Fee? Fee. Fee. Five plus 12.5. <laughs> <laughs> my god which we have 21.5 plus vroom vroom <laughs> follow me on twitter oh follow me on twitter wow wow wait malulog na wait